Hi Cancer, getting ready to do your reading. We're going to see what is going on with your person, what they're thinking and feeling. All right, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, listen to your intuition. It could be with a fire sign for some of you, someone with a lot of fire in your chart, be open. Didn't someone else get these same cards? I'm not, I don't remember now, but okay. Something maybe traveling, going on vacation, coming to see you. Okay. Under the deck, there is the yes card. That's interesting. So someone with either a lot of fire in their chart. Spirit wants you to be open to someone new, be open to this person, be open to something about, I don't know, going on vacation or them coming to see you. So that's your first message. So all right, what is going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Overall energy is the temperance. What's on this person's mind is the Seven of Wands. How they feel about you, the Strength card. How they view you or how you're coming across is the Wheel of Fortune. That was in the same position for somebody else. And potential outcome is the Three of Cups. Okay. Under the deck is the Six of Cups. I feel like somebody wants to come back towards you. I feel like there's a fire sign who wants to... Maybe it's a Leo specifically. got Sagittarius here. But someone who doesn't want to give up on this connection with you, someone who may be sad about the past when I split the deck, I see the Five of Cups. So I don't know if there's been heartbreak in this connection or what has gone on, but I kind of get like they, they either want to fix things, make amends, come back together, something like that. There's a tower right here. So I don't know if that's, there was some sort of major fallout or breakup. I thought something flipped around, but it didn't. What is the Temperance Energy? Two of Coins, Eight of Wands. Yeah. I feel like this person wants to talk to you. There's no doubt that they are emotional or thinking about you a lot, Cancer. They're trying to figure out if they should or shouldn't. So I don't know what happens if there was, you know, an argument or third party interference or whatever it is. Maybe they're traveling or they live at a distance, but I see them wanting to communicate a lot. Manifesting the Five of Cups. Okay, this person may be sad that they didn't put an effort into this connection or they didn't put in like, I kind of feel like they ignored you for some reason. It's like it's because of wands under the deck. Um, they're sad that maybe they were a player that they didn't, again, maybe they pushed you away. Now, they could have done this because of other people getting involved, but Seven of Wands, and this deck is kind of like they act like they don't care. What's on their mind is the Seven of Wands. I feel like they feel bad for betraying you. I feel like they want to come towards you with the Knight of Wands energy is what I'm kind of getting, because how they feel about you is the Strength card. So... I kind of feel like they just don't want to give up on this connection yet. There's a strength card. Seven of Cups, the Six of Coins, Judgment. Let me do one more. And the Sun. This person wants to give to you. So I'm seeing here somebody who wants to give something to you with the Six of Coins in order to make you happy with the Sun. Like they want to give to this so it grows, so it starts over. So they're wondering if they could give something to you or if this relationship will balance or if there's enough give and take or something. But I'm thinking they want to actually give you money or buy you something, take you out to make you happy in order to give you the strength card. I'm sorry, the, the sun card. This person may be someone who works a lot, who maybe has put their career ahead of love or ahead of you or something like that. It's kind of what I'm getting. Like this person acts, acts like they don't care when actually deep down they do care. How they view you is the wheel of fortune. Like you could make them happy, like you're moving forward or something like that. Or like, let's see, ace of cups, four of swords, and the seven of coins. They know you're going to move on. Okay, I'm also kind of getting right now that this person may not feel like they're good enough for you or something. Or like they, you know, maybe they don't feel like they have the money or resources or something like that. Uh, maybe they feel like they're not really like relationship material or something along that line. They may have some baggage or some insecurities or something like that going on here as well. Because I feel like they see you, the Wheel of Fortune is like you're moving on. You're going to keep rolling. You're not going to just stop and wait for them and be sad. You're going to find someone else. I feel like at the moment, maybe you're not. Maybe you are, at least as they're thinking, you're kind of like taking your time here and like, okay, I'll wait a moment and see, but I do have other options. Like they know that if you, if they don't invest in this, you're going to move on. So the outcome could be going out. So they could be planning a date here. They could be planning something special. What is the three of cups? The outcome. Six of cups, 10 of wands, 
and the four of wands and the deck is the wheel of fortune so this is like having to fix something in the past in the past making something right this could have something to do with a house or where someone lives or you know moving possibly the ten of wands and the towers here also so there may be something here about moving for one of you or them maybe there's a fight or an argument about where they live traveling be open vacation the past they may feel weighed down by the past something that was said something they did the four of wands though coming together coming back together one more for the four of wands the moon feelings this oh a lot of intuition here wow so it might be a Pisces or Pisces is involved in this or something, but there's also here again, like listening to your intuition. There's something here. There's something right here. What's rolling in. This could be a water sign. Got any cups here. Someone getting married. Maybe this person is getting married to someone else or you are. They're afraid you're going to get married or something like that. Someone knows that they don't step up. This person knows that they don't step up. They're going to be disappointed because the card says, but I don't always go off what the card says. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. This could be them. Like if they don't step up and do something about this connection with you, Cancer, that they could lose you. you know, something just fell the deck. I'll pick it up. Yeah, the lovers, the devil. There's something here also you have about like bad habits, old bad habits, needing to get rid of the old way of thinking, old, you know, this person definitely comes kind of across as a player. This person may not believe in marriage, also four of wands. They could be a twin flame. So there's a lot of underlying messages or energy here, but I can see like the the basic energy of this person, how they're feeling. I feel like they're kind of torn here. Like they want to be with you. But they don't know if they can be a good partner, if they don't know if they can like make you happy. What is this person feeling right now? What is this person feeling? We have the miscommunication card. It says, I don't think you understand. So there was probably some sort of miscommunication. Unspoken truth. They didn't tell you how they were truly feeling. And we have missing you. They've been missing you. But they're unsure under the deck. Yeah, I'm totally seeing that here. I get like an argument. I feel like this person, maybe they can't articulate how they feel. They don't feel like they can um, express their feelings very well when it comes to how they feel. Maybe they just, you know, you're giving them a chance though, as I'm seeing. You're giving them a chance. You're kind of waiting here. Maybe something happened in July with the seven of coins, but you're kind of like, okay, I'm going to give them, you know, seven more days, another week, but I'm moving on. It's kind of, I'm getting off of your energy. I feel like this person's actually feeling kind of frustrated because again, if they can't articulate their feelings, they can't get across how, you know, it's kind of like they want to just give up, but they don't really want to give up. What does spirit want you to know about this connection? Go slow. Okay, that's okay. Go taking time to get to know each other. Also, bro, this could be taking time, taking a while, going very slowly. What else? This is a soulmate. There could be a marriage involved, whether someone is married to someone else right now, or maybe you guys may marry, get married, because that is the Four of Wands. You guys had a discussion about getting married. Maybe this person thinks they don't want to get married. They're not marriage material or something. There's time apart. And then we have balance. Okay, Six of Coins. Wondering about the Six of Coins. Okay, something that's right here. I'm getting also, some of you pulled back and you stopped giving to this, because it says one person is giving too much. I'm getting some of you, like every time this would happen, you'd be the first one to reach out. You'd be the first one to fix it, and you're not. They're waiting for you, I think, so they can be happy, but I think you're not giving anymore. You used to be the first one to call or text. You used to be the first one to, you know, make plans or to smooth things over or to fix things. And I kind of get you're not. You're kind of like, okay, I'm about done with this connection. So it's kind of like you need to really see what's in this person's heart. Um, before you know you make any major decision here some of you there is a wedding or something you're going to coming up here where you're going to see this person I think this person is afraid to see you they're afraid to see you face to face why are they afraid to see you I feel like they may think they're going to disappoint you why is this person afraid to see you four of wands again something about security stability the seven of coins looking at the past Five of Wands arguing. Could be arguing over a home or what you guys want because they're afraid you guys are going to have an argument. Five of Wands, you guys don't agree. I may ex um, extend this one, Cancer. I may see what this person's thinking and feeling right now, how they feel about you, what they like about you, what they don't like. 
what their next action is and where this is headed is actually what I think I'm going to do. Yeah, though, there you are. Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, communicating or spying. Eight of Wands, messages, materialism. This is the devil. Some of you don't have the same views on like money or how money should be spent or something. Materialism, that's the devil. It could be a Capricorn, but see, there's the fire sign, King of Wands. What's coming in is the King of Wands, Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. Hiding feelings, hiding that they're sad. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'll put the extended below. Have a great week, you guys.